Hi, Hazel Mills here. Check this out. Let's start with a simple sine wave. Now, one of my absolute favourite things about the Super Gemini is the function of the wave morphing. This wave fader over here will allow you to morph between your current selected waveform and the waveform that appears to the right of it on the selector pot. So all the way up, we're hearing a sawtooth. All the way down, we're hearing a sign. So wherever you have that selected, it's going to be morphing between the current selection and the one to the right. So this is with it set to manual. If you set it to LFO1, then LFO1 does the work for you and the extent to which will be determined by how much you have the fader turned up. You can also use envelope one as a modulation source. But then you can take it even further if you explore the mod matrix. So any of the sources in the mod matrix can become a modulator for this wave morphing. So if you have it set to manual, enter the mod matrix and you can set any of these to modulate the wave morphing. Let's start with the ribbon controller. The wave morphing appears in the destination list here, so it's quite easy to do. And I'm just going to turn up the amount. I'm just going to go all the way. Why not? That's going from A to B. If you had the fader all the way up and the amount pot all the way over to the negative side, then you could do the opposite. We could also use aftertouch. Now, depending on the waveform you choose, it can give this effect as though it's actually just opening the filter, but you can kind of get all sorts of different combinations, which can be quite interesting. Take this one step further and we can explore the alternative waveforms and actually morph between two different alternative waveforms. And what you're doing is you're going between an A and a B. So with this fader all the way down, we're hearing A. With A selected on here, you can choose whatever sound you want. soft one and then B if I go all the way up we hear B I'll go for something a bit more obnoxious there we go so two quite different sounds I mean you, there's endless possibilities if you just want to find the exact tone that you like you can just find some kind of combination. Or you can modulate between them. Thank you for watching. See you next time. <laughs>